Welcome to Provo 10. This is the first episode of a brand new show that we're doing for Channel 17, Provo City. I'm your host with the most of nothing, Christian Lettick, and we just want to show you guys what's going on around Provo. We got special people. We got different locations. Uh, we might have food one day, fingers crossed, if you can tell by my physique. And we might even go to weirdest locations you don't even know existed in Provo. But today, we have a real treat. We have the one, the only, Her Royal Highness, Her Majesty, Miss Provo. It is an honor, my queen. Oh my goodness, thank you for coming. You know, people normally shake or say hi when oh. you know, they introduce themselves, but you know, anything's great. Okay, I'm so thank sorry, you, I, I just, no one told I'm me so the <laughs> etiquette. I, that's my bad, I'm so sorry. Awesome, well, we, uh, nice to meet you. We, we are so thrilled that you are going to be our Miss Provo for thank how long? You. Thank you, for this next year. Mm -hmm. A year? A year, yes. So That I seems just, like a lot of work. It's, I mean, it's work, right? It's how it goes, you know? A year passes and you get stuff done. But will you serve the people of Provo? I will, to the best oh, of my abilities. Your, uh, your Majesty, <laughs> that is what we need to hear. Okay, so I think what people hear when they say Miss Provo mm -hmm. or pageant queen, so to say, mm -hmm. is uh, something maybe a little prim, a little proper, maybe mm -hmm. just here to look pretty or something. Mm -hmm. But I get the vibe that you might be different. So mm -hmm. what, what would you say encompasses you being Miss Provo? Well, one of the reasons I did Miss Provo was how awesome the Miss America organization is. Okay. The big thing that they have that each contestant, each title holder creates and does is they actually have a platform, a social platform that I've chosen. And if they become a title holder, they get to implement that into the city. And so my social platform that I created and that I'm passionate about is it's entitled Navigating the Digital Highway. But What's I mean... That seems like there might be a speed limit. Do you go fast on that digital highway? How, do, how does yes. it work? I mean, obviously, you need to be careful, right? Uh, certainly. But, I mean, it's a metaphor. So it's a metaphor oh, for sorry. phones. Yeah, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, we, we like to follow the speed limit here. But So it's teaching youth and parents about the dangers of social media and the digital world, kind of offering a driver's ed for using phones. We've had phones and we've had like smartphones, you know, for 10 years now, and we're seeing that there are some dangers and there's problems happening. Yes. And so now we just need to take those precautions so then people can use them safely and wisely. That's a wonderful platform. Thanks, uh, thank you. So when you're not, I mean, obviously Miss Provo mm. uh, is, is, might be not a full-time job, but yeah. you know, I believe uh, there might be other things you're interested in. Are you in school? What are you doing right yes, now? Yes, I go to BYU, actually where we are awesome. right now. Awesome, And we are currently in the Brim Hall building, and this is kind of the place that I like to hang out. I'm a news media major studying broadcast journalism. And so, really? yes, so I've been a reporter and um, a broadcaster and anchor and a producer for our BYU 11 News show. So that's what I was actually working on when, when you came in. Well, yeah. I, was Your Majesty, I didn't mean to disturb. That's okay, you know. I'm so sorry. This, I, this is important. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, we want to know uh, what is Miss Provo's favorite food, and if you could answer in your best on the air broadcast news voice. Okay. My favorite food, ladies and gentlemen, would have to be pizza. And not your normal pizza, that's cheese. No, no, I'm all for that pepperoni. Hot and spicy pepperoni cheese pizza. You, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yes, Mary awesome. Klein. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that was so good. That was so good. Uh, so, uh, I believe you speak other languages, or maybe just one other language. Yes. That's the rumor. It is a rumor that is confirmed a little bit. Okay, well, what language is that? It's Japanese. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. That yeah. is incredible. Oh, thank you. I don't know one word. That's okay. Well, I can teach you one. Please, please. Okay. A good one to know is konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. That is hello, hello. Okay. And a good one. So if you want to pretend like you're fluent and you're in any conversation with people, all you have to say is say, so desu ne. So desne. So desne. So desne. So desne. Which means? It means like you're kind of agreeing and you're listening. You're being like, I'm an active participant so of this conversation. Yes, perfect. <laughs> so desne. So if I were talking to you, you didn't know what I was saying, just say so desne and you're good to go. Okay. And if you had to describe uh, your, maybe not your favorite, like what's a good day to you? And I want to use your best broadcast voice oh. as well as your Japanese. Oh boy, layers. So describe okay. your Solid, perfect day in mm. broadcast journalism Japanese. Go. Okay. So, 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 so,
So does Sne. There you go. Oh, I'm learning. Oh boy, that was close. <laughs> uh, awesome. A lot of Miss Pearl uh, does like we just had the Freedom Festival going yes, on. Yes, yes. Uh, did you have a lot to do with that? Like, what's mm -hmm. what's that entail? Yeah, there were a lot of different events. The Freedom Festival is awesome. They have um, the balloon parade, so they have all the hot air balloons go up, and I was able to be in those. They had the parade on the Fourth of July, and a lot of fun things that the community community can get involved in, awesome. just kind of leading up to that. And I think what a lot of people want to know is how Miss Provo handles being thrown a curveball. Okay. Don't worry, I got you. Okay. Okay, so imagine my you're an ball. MMA fighter, okay. mixed martial arts. Oh, you boy. are so good, mm -hmm. and you're about to have a fight, and you're walking into the, the octagon, mm -hmm. and you have a walkout song. Mm -hmm. It, gets you, pipe, it mm -hmm. gets you pumped, it gets the people hyped. What is that song, and why? That is a hard question. Can I answer two? Please. Okay, I would love to have some like Enya going on in the background, all of a sudden you get everyone going doing some like interpretive dance, right? Oh wow. Do, 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 do. I mean, it would throw everyone off, right? I, I'm They'd afraid. They'd have no idea. I'm yeah, afraid. they'd be terrified. It would throw them off. <laughs> then the other one would be this girl on fire because I have red hair and <laughs> fire is red. And That's perfect. My head's red, so. <laughs> it, it makes sense. Do we have a clip of that? No, we don't. No. Thought we had a clip. Sorry, thought we had a clip. That, okay. Thought yeah, we had a clip. Okay, Sorry, Matt. my bad. And <laughs> final question for me, uh, just because I do love the movie Space Jam. If you were a character from Space Jam, who would you be and why? Unfortunately, I have never seen Space Jam. Your, but it's your Space Highness, <laughs> Your Majesty, you yes. have homework. Okay, taking notes. But please continue. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry. But if, I mean, is Space Jam, is that a character or jam or space? You know, she'll watch it and she'll get back to us <laughs> about it. So much to learn, but you're doing great. Thank I think everyone appreciates you know. doing great. Uh, so yeah. what are you doing? Like any fun? Oh, I believe you said Miss Provo goes to Miss Utah. Yes. And then yes. you're going to have to have a talent. Yes, I will. Do uh -huh. you have a talent that you're going to do for that Miss Utah pageant? I do. And it's actually a harp talent. I play the harp. Mm -hmm. Unreal. Yeah, well, very real. Please, yes. I think the people want to see their royal highness well, go. Well, you're in luck. We actually have a harp here in the studio today. Oh, and if you goodness. come this way over here. Please. All right. I feel underdressed, <laughs> but I'm excited for it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and you get a little tour of the studio. This okay. is 11 News. I get an anchor over here, and we have our reporters that come on. There's a full team effort. It's, wow. it's pretty fun. I am Enjoy underdressed, it. but yes, this is amazing. <laughs> You're good. I right, go ahead, sit there. Thank you so, so this much. This is my harp. Normally, I play on a harp that's taller than I am, oh, but okay. I had to, for convenience. I brought my little baby harp. Okay. Is the crown going to be in the way, or is uh, you know, the, the sash way? might be a little tricky. You wanna, you wanna hold it? Is that okay? <laughs> it's okay. It, it doesn't <laughs> bite. <laughs> I have full faith in you. I will. This full is faith. an honor. My I, pleasure. I will not let you down. Okay. Here's a little. This is a little Celtic song. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm not crying. Oh, That's beautiful. I'm sorry. That is incredible. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I would assume because you play the harp, you might be into other music as well. Yeah. Well, what's another really like music genre you might be into? Um, you know, I'm all about like a little bit of soul and a little bit of feeling, right? Okay, like yeah. when you feel the music and it kind of, you know, it gets you. Yes. So, so for me, sometimes that's music with a beat. So oh. I, so I actually love, I love a little bit of beatbox and and rapping. One of my secret talents is is ginger rapping. Ginger rapping. Yes. You know. And what does that entail? <laughs> it entails me trying to speak fast to a beat. But, I like you that. know, it's I, it's fun. I think the people want to see their queen <laughs> flex her skills. You know, ironically, I was actually working on a little rap the other day oh, about please. Provo, and I got it oh. over here. So we gotta have it. Should I uh, give you a beat? Yes. Okay. What so, tempo would you like? Probably a little bit slower so that my words can be understandable. Maybe like a. Okay, uh, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. 
My name is Marin Klein and I like to rhyme. I suppose I like to rap, so here's a little recraft. Yeah, yeah, I go to BYU and my heart bleeds white and blue. And Provo is my city. Yeah, you know Provo, it will open busy. Provo ranks number three as the best place to start your business. So people here create and they are really quite ambitious. And Provo's number two as the greatest place to live. And it ranks number one in volunteering and service. Here people serve in their communities. Got lots of opportunities that bring us all to unity. And we have continuity. Whoa, Ooh, whoa, whoa, Provo. whoa. Hey, Provo. Her Highness. Whoa. Oh. Fuego, so Fuego. hot, oh. fire, spitting oh. hot fire, yes. your Golden highness. Is on fire. That's when you have that. Oh my song. goodness, <laughs> that girl is on fire, your oh, majesty. Wow. I it's believe okay. no. the people of Provo are in good hands with you. Thank You're you. I Thank you, that means hard. a lot. Coming you know through. how to have fun. Mm -hmm. Guys, we, I try. I it's try. incredible. Well, it's been so fun today. Thank you so much for stopping by. What a Thank blast. Thank you for having us again. This is Marin Klein, Miss Provo. I am Christian Ledick, the host with the most of nothing with Provo 10. Again, check us out every Thursday at 11 a.m. Almost said p.m. No one would be awake for that. 11 a.m., Channel 17, Provo City. We'll see you next time. See you next time, folks.